Hello, I recently replaced the windshield in my 1969 Sprite. I had a cracked windshield and I wanted to get some new glass, but replacing the glass in these aluminum frames is really very challenging. It's very difficult to take these apart and get the glass in, and it always seems like you can break it if you're not careful trying, just trying to put new glass in. So I thought I, I was lucky enough to have a spare frame from a car that we had dismantled some years ago. So I simply took the old frame out and put this frame in, which has good glass in it. Uh, while it fit into the car nice and all the rubber seals matched, we replaced, one, uh, we replaced the two bottom rubber seals and it really came out nice. The difficulty is that the top no longer seals. It's sealed with the old top, but there must be just enough difference in the geometry that it no longer wants to seal. And that's really too bad because this, this top is in good shape, doesn't have any tears, and the uh, plastic windows look good, but there's no way it's going to clip up with this new windshield in place. Let's have a closer look. Well, I'm going to see if I can get this top to fit at this point in time. I've got the visors in, out of the way, but I'm trying to pull it down and I can't even really get the teeth from the fasteners to even get up to the rail without really pulling pretty hard. So it really doesn't want to come in and seat. Even when I'm holding it tight, it's at least an inch away from the uh, header to the windshield frame, and it's just not going to come in. So a real different fit from what I had with the old windshield. I'm going to take this uh, fabric apart and see if I'm lucky enough to be able to reposition the convertible top and see if we can get it to attach properly. I've gone ahead and uh, removed the uh, weather strip from the uh, head, head rail and I've removed the, uh, the little uh, metal strip behind it. This was the strip that was here and I took out all the rivets using a uh, eighth inch drill bit and I could drill those right out. So then I loosened up the fabric. So now I have the fabric away from the headrail. And I can see there's not a lot left of fabric. But what I'm going to do is just move it in a little bit closer to the edge and see if I can get enough space to actually make this top work. I'm going to set a new hole 3 eighths of an inch uh, closer to the edge because boy I go any more than that and it just won't work. So that'll allow me to determine if it's possible to save the convertible top or not. So here's a, a screw that I can use. I just made a hole and just as a pilot hole I'm going to put this in and put a couple of these in position just 3 eighths of an inch from the old hole and I'll try it and see if it'll actually allow me to close the convertible top. Well, I put just three of the screws in the fabric and into the header rail just to see if this will actually give me enough top to close. And amazingly, even though that was only three eighths of it, less than half an inch of added fabric, it now matches up with the uh, fastener and it closes. Oh my goodness. So all I need to do now is to uh, go ahead and get some contact cement Try this out, put it on, uh, and add the full strip with rivets and see how it comes out. I've made progress on uh, positioning the convertible top with the new holes. I went ahead and punched new holes into the head rail and then attached the uh, head rail with uh, just sheet metal sc screws just to try it out for positioning. It's easier to remove those if I want to adjust anything. So I put everything in with my new holes on the fabric that were about three-eighths of an inch extended and then laid in everything. Uh, I used a contact cement and gave it the five minutes and then uh, for it to dry and then applied everything and uh, just used a standard sheet metal sc uh, screw but when I put this together I'm going to use rivets. That's what you normally do, and it gives you more room for the weather seal. Uh, there's two types of rivets I'm playing around with. These are eighth inch rivets, but the shank can be a different length depending on how much material. Uh, I'm going to use the shortest one, and I'll probably use the longer ones just at the very ends where you have more fabric. So the, these are eighth inch rivets, 
and they're uh, uh, actually characterized by the shank. The smaller one is called uh, an eighth inch, and the uh, the one in the middle is called a, a quarter inch uh, shank. So the eighth inch one, uh, eighth by eighth rivet, will do fine. These are aluminum to make it easy to apply. It's actually fairly difficult to get the rivet gun into this region between the two lips of the uh, uh, aluminum rail that holds the weather seal. So what I do on the rivets is I actually use an extender uh, so that I can get the mouth of the rivet gun in there. You can see that that rivet gun wouldn't really fit in there. It's just too wide. But if I just use a, a little piece of tubing, I can extend it and apply the rivet. And this happens to be an old bullet connector. And so I can put the uh, rivet through this uh, bullet connector and then use that to press it down. We'll take a look and see how that works. Well, I'm going to replace one of the screws now with a rivet. I've tested it for fit, so I have it back down. I'll take all the screws out now and apply a rivet. I'm going to use the, uh, the shorter of the two rivets, as I showed you before, because that's plenty adequate. Uh, and I'll place this little uh, bullet connector to extend the fitting just like that and then I can put it in my rivet gun. Now the rivet gun will actually fit in there and I can get it in so there it is in position and I can snap it into place. So I'll give it a couple of pulls. Second pull it ought to snap right in. And there it goes. So the bullet connector falls in there and I have to get my fingers in to get it out. But the advantage is I can get it right and snug in there and I didn't have to bend up the edges of that metal rail. So now I'll go ahead and do the other 14 and we'll have it all done. Well, the top came out very nice. The seam lines up very nicely on the head rail. Uh, it closes easily and it opens easily. So at least I have protection from rain. But the first thing I'm going to do is take the top down and take it out for a ride. 